I hope that I will be seeing everyone at Eurogen in 2024. It's at March 13 to 16 in Stockholm, Sweden. Why come to Eurogen? I think number one, it's a great science. It's um, come there to be a learner. Um, we have experts uh, that give talks on numerous variety of HPV associated topics. But probably the main reason, certainly for me, is that it's talking with great colleagues and meeting new colleagues, um, especially the younger generation. It's very exciting to see the new generation move in um, because they're really excited. And I get really excited when they get really excited. Um, we have researchers in all sorts of areas, um, including epidemiology, clinical trials, public health, and even basic science. So there's a lot to learn and there's a lot of people to meet. I myself am going to be involved in several workshops. Um, two of them are looking at vulnerable populations. One is those living with HIV. We know that they're at much higher risk for getting HPV-associated cancers, uh, specifically cervical, anal, as well as oral pharyngeal. But this year, we're also putting one on those that have been sexually abused. Um, this uh, whole area has not been well studied, and there's very little information, and we need more. So this is be a grounding workshop that's gonna begin to lay out what we think the problems are. Um, but we'll be looking at sexual abuse and HPV. Um, I'm also involved in the vaginal microbiome and HPV. And not surprisingly, it looks like the microbiome um, within the vagina, um, when it becomes dysbiotic, is actually a great place for HPV to persist and cause additional inflammation. So it may actually have a, a role in the development of cervical cancer. So I do hope um, I will see all of you there. Um, if you do come and you see me, please walk up and introduce yourself. <laughs>